Hundreds of people died on this cruise ship, so it's only fair that we rank them. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment, and it's time to rank all the character deaths from the disaster cruise ship film, Poseidon. So, recently just done a Poseidon review on the channel. You can go and check that out. I said it was a decent movie. I gave it a 6 out of 10. An alternative to Titanic, for sure. Is it as good as Titanic? No. But it's probably one of the best disaster films outside of Titanic that you're going to get on the ocean. I enjoyed it. Maybe check out the review and let me know what you think of the movie. But we're here to rank all the characters. Now, yes, there was hundreds of people that died. However, I'm not going to rank every single one because that would be asinine. And plus, let's be real. I mean, we don't know the names, so I can't really rank them anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rank the main cast. So if you died on the main cast, you're going to be ranked on this list. If you did not die on the main cast, then unfortunately you're not going to be ranked on this list. So yeah, with that said, I believe that gives us one, two, three, four, five. I've got five deaths, five death scenes. Now, obviously, if we're including everybody, there's a shitload more, but it's hard to rank a death when you actually don't know the person's name. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to rank the actual people that had death. So coming in at number five, I'm going to go with Elena Morales, who was played by Mia Maestro. Her death was lame. They were swimming through the cruise ship. They were trying to get, obviously, to the top. Uh, they were having to go through like a compartment where they were swimming. She got her dress stuck on like this cable that was frayed, and it got stuck, and she tried to pull free. And in the process of pulling free, she cracked her head off like some cement. She cracked the back of her head, um, lost some blood, and by the time anyone came down underwater to save her, she'd been... I'm assuming it was the water that killed her. She just drowned. Or it could have been the blow to the head. It could have been both. Maybe it was a double kill. But at the end of the day, it was a bit of a lame death. So I'm going to put in Elena at number five, just for the pure fact that this death really didn't need to happen. If we're being honest, if we're being honest, it did not need to happen. Coming in at number four, I'm going to put the death of Robert Ramsey, who's played by Kurt Russell. And while it was a heroic death, while he did risk his own life and sacrifice his life to save not only his daughter, his daughter's new fiance, but everybody left still on the ship. I mean, it just wasn't that good. He swam to the control panel so he could try and stop the propellers. And he was basically just underwater for too long and his lungs couldn't handle it. And he, he died. He drowned underwater, but managed just to hit the propeller button before he died. So, I mean, I appreciate the sacrifice. It wasn't dumb. At least, I know he drowned just like Elena, but at least him drowning meant something. <laughs> he drowned to save them. Elena just drowned because she drowned, you know. So, there's definitely a difference here. But I'm putting Robert in at number four. Coming in at number three, I'm going to put the captain and I'm going to put Fergie and everybody else that was in the main area, like the the hall, like the main hall, the dining hall where they were celebrating the, the New Year's because like when the, the window started to break, we just seen the entire bottom of the ship get flooded and they were all there. They all thought they had the best chance of survival. Just stick here with the waterproof doors and the fireproof doors and they will be fine. They will be rescued. However, they didn't think that the windows would crack, which is a bit dumb because surely the windows just wouldn't handle that amount of pressure constantly being underwater for that long. Eventually they did crack though the water get in and you can see this fear on their face. As soon as they seen the windows start to crack, they knew they were goners, they knew they were dead, and then they all did die. So yeah, thought it was a pretty decent death. Moving in at number two, we have Lucky Larry, yes, played by Kevin Dillon. Pretty funny character in this movie. The only problem is he didn't last long. You know, he probably had about he died around the 35 minute mark, I want to say, but even up to that point, he, he did really didn't get that many scenes, and just before he died, he was talking about Lucky Larry, he says, you don't get the name Lucky Larry for nothing, and then literally after he's finished his sentence, two seconds later, the engine falls through the roof and just clatters into him and kills him instantly, so Lucky Larry wasn't so lucky on this occasion, and coming in at number one, the best death for me of the entire movie. It goes to Marco Valentine. He was an employee on the cruise ship. He was trying to help everybody escape. He's trying to help Richard up through the 
elevator shaft but the elevator at the top is beginning to give way we then get Dylan telling Robert or Richard sorry that the only way you're going to survive is if you kick him off you need to sacrifice him in order to save yourself and then Richard at this point starts kicking Marco Valentine and he falls off his leg falls right to the bottom of the, the elevator shaft gets impaled on like a big massive sharp um, like sharp piece of metal and then the elevator literally seconds later falls down and crushes on top of him to make sure he was all, if he wasn't already dead he certainly was after this and I mean obviously the visual was pretty cool as well seeing him fall to his death and it, obviously the elevator coming down and crushing him but it, probably for me it was also the saddest part of the movie because even though we didn't really get introduced to this guy much and he was a, a minor character to say the least he was helping them escape, you know, he was doing their bet. He could have escaped the elevator shaft, but he said he would go last. He told Richard, the old guy that wanted to die, the guy that was literally about to commit suicide at the beginning of the film, he told him, no, you go, I'll help you escape. So, I mean, this guy's kindness in the end got him killed and he was willing to make sure everyone else got to safety first but when the shoe was on the other foot they were all happy to sacrifice him. So, sometimes what goes around doesn't come around and I did feel bad for Marco Valentine because like I said he died even though he was a hero but that seems to be the that seems to be the <laughs> the common theme of this movie if you're a hero then you die so yeah I guess that is it anyway guys that's me ranking all the deaths for Poseidon let me know your thoughts down below I'll catch you in the next one until then though peace <laughs>